this is you before subscribing to my channel and that is you after subscribing to my channel if you want to be happy like this man over here that handsome man is michael schumacher by the way then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button if not i'll be very sad like this man over here and with that out of the way let's head into the video right now breaking news Haas have one team have decided to part ways with their current second driver mick schumacher and have decided to bring in current aston martin reserve driver nico hulkenberg to fill in the vacant Haas F1 seat after the season-ending race in Abu Dhabi prior to the 2023 season. But the main question here is, why did Haas choose to replace Schumacher? Actually, the first reason is involved with money. The American outfit's budget for the 2022 season has decreased significantly due to Schumacher having big and heavy crashes which really took a toll on their budget. Some of these crashes include Mick Schumacher's Q2 crash during the Q2 qualifying session of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, which forced the team to make the decision to not repair his car despite having the components and parts to do so, which was the reason why he missed the race start. Another one of such incidents was during the Monaco GP. During the race, everyone was very careful as they navigated their way around the circuit due to the wet and slippery conditions. However, Mick Schumacher was not so lucky because he lost control of the rear of his house at the swimming pool section due to the wet surface, which saw his car being split into half when he made contact with the barriers, which was the reason why he was out of the race. Even Haas's team principal, Gunther Steiner, was very unhappy due to the millions and millions of dollars that Schumacher has been costing the team and his inconsistencies. And that brings me to the second point, consistency. The young 23-year-old has managed to score in the points only twice. The first occasion was during the British Grand Prix when Mick Schumacher fought hard and got 8th place. And the second occasion was during the Austrian Grand Prix a week later when Mick Schumacher got his highest ever finish in Formula 1 with a placement of P6. However, Danish teammate Kevin Magnussen has had better and more consistent performances over the 2022 season, which sees him in P13 with 25 points and Mick Schumacher down in P16 with 12 points, with Haas standing in 8th place after the Brazilian Grand Prix with 37 points in the Constructors' Championship. And I'm sure this is another question that y'all are thinking of right now. Why Nico Hülkenberg to replace Schumacher? For those of you who don't know, Nico Hülkenberg is a Formula 1 race driver, obviously. He is best known for his days at Renault for his consistent midfield performances, but after the 2019 season, he was dropped by the French team and replaced by Esteban Ocon and was then taken by BWT Racing Point Formula 1 team, which is now known as Aston Martin today, as their current reserve driver. The 35-year-old German had a total of three appearances for the Racing Point team. The first time he appeared for them was during the British Grand Prix in which he failed to start due to some problems with his Mercedes power unit and the second time he appeared for them was the 70th anniversary Grand Prix in which he qualified in a surprising 3rd place and finished in 7th and the last time he appeared for them in 2020 was during the Eiffel Grand Prix at the Nürburgring in which he finished a surprising 8th place with 4 points. That meme I put in the previous picture is for entertainment purposes only so please don't take it seriously, thank you. The current Aston Martin Reserve had two appearances in the 2022 season. The first one was in Bahrain, the season opener, and the second one was in Jeddah for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. He raced in both events to temporarily replace four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel as he had tested positive for COVID-19. Now, Hulkenberg is set to race alongside Kevin Magnussen for Haas in the 2023 season as his experience was the key to the team's decision to sign him in the first place as Hülkenberg was fighting in the midfield for the entirety of his career. But, what does this say about Mick Schumacher? Now, there are currently rumours of the fact that Mercedes might be looking for Schumacher as a reserve driver, but will the Silver Arrows eventually buy him as a reserve, or will they choose someone else? Leave your answers in the comments, I would love to read them, see you in the next video, and goodbye.